Hopefully, I get this day to play, right? Day two. I turn off my camera a little bit late to show it. Look how good it looks! Man. All right. I guess this is everyone. I call this strategy meeting to order. Copy that. Here's the latest status report. As of today, two rescue officers and one rescue pup have been recovered thanks to the efforts of Harmonia. However, the whereabouts of the other four rescue officers remain unknown, and the SS Shepard is out of commission. All things considered, our primary mission, the rescue of Captain Olimar, has run into some roadblocks. Our first priority is now the search and rescue of our fellow rescue officers. Harmonia, Ochi, fly to the area where our radar picked up those distress signals and try to track down our missing personnel. Colin and I will remain with the ship. We'll provide direction and guidance from here. Don't worry. We'll be available via the SS Shepard's wireless communication at all times, so you'll have our full support. I wouldn't typically assign so much responsibility to a rookie, but after seeing you in action, I know you can handle it. Plus, you'll be in good pause with Ochi by your side. You two make a great team. Captain, what about our search for Captain Olimar? Should we officially put it on pause? No, we may still find him during our hunt for the other rescue officers. I'll keep it on our mission list, just in case. On that note, I hereby call this strategy meeting to a close. Copy that. All right. Mission rescue. Wow. Mission rescue all of our. I almost said mission rescue officer. Captain Almar shipwrecked on this unknown planet. Discovers whereabouts while you search for the missing rescue corps officers. All right. But yeah, whole rescue corps is ready in your game too. So I did decide a whole lot with that suit color. So 1,500 units of sparkling and finish the day to complete the demo. Okay. Afterward, you can receive rewards both in the smart device app, Pikmin Bloom, and the full version of the game. They really want to keep reminding people that, by the way, Pikmin Bloom is a thing that exists in case you've forgotten. Oh, man. All right. Bobby Kotick, of all people, just confirmed Nintendo's making a new console on pow with power on par with the PS4 X mode. Hey, Bobby Kotick, so you're convinced he just leaked it? <laughs> pleased to learn that I installed a few new apps onto your tablet. I'm sure you'll find them more than useful when you're out in the field. So check them out when you have a spare minute. Now well, that we have that sorted out, are you ready to get out there and explore? Um, uh, ready to explore. Jerry, would you like to explore? Uh, uh, mm. I guess over there? Sun Speckled Terrace. Looks like there might be a missing rescue officer here. We need to get out there and find them. I mean, it would be about time for Nintendo to be working on the next console. I do hope that whatever the next console is, that it's back compatible like a lot of Nintendo consoles are. I really don't want to have to deal with another Wii U situation where it's like, oh yeah, all the good games just get re-released on the next console at full price again for you to rebuy if you owned them before, you know? Like you couldn't really do back compatible Switch and Wii U, what with, you know, the gamepad and so many games playing into that and the difference there, you would have to, you know, actually do semi remasters or enhanced ports or something like that to pull that off. But, uh, and there were some games that did do that, um, from, like, Wii U to Switch. But, you know, also the fact that cartridge rather than discs and stuff like that. But the Switch has been wildly successful by being home console and handheld there. So, you know, I assume that they keep playing into that for whatever the next console is. You know, continue dominating the handheld market. And, uh, you know, if it uses cartridges as well, please be back compatible and let me just keep on building this library. You know, rather than being like, oh, well... $80 or maybe 90 considering, you know, Tears of the Kingdom was 90 um, to rebuy, uh, rebuy these games if you want for that version on that console. I really hope that's not like that. Whenever you're ready, I'm ready, so come find me. Like, again, without the Wii U being back compatible, I guess it kind of made sense, and then it's like you can play it on the go. But, you know, what would really be the point with the, you know, next console slash Switch? I mean, depending on what the next console is. So here's hoping. Give me those Pikmin. I was hoping that would be faster, but, um, but yeah, not sure about for your gathering since they mentioned a limited supply of ration that there's going to be a day limit like in Pikmin 3, and it combined with the fact that you're collecting treasure makes you think this is sort of a combination of Pikmin 1 and 2. Hmm. It seems like a whole combination of all the games, including Hey Pikmin, considering the sparklium, is the impression that I get. And I guess on this first day, there's no, like, time limit that shows how long the day lasts, so I can just, you know, go at this at whatever speed I feel like going at it. So, ah, why am I getting sniffles now? Why am I allergic to this now? Um, status report installing complete. So. 
do I need to talk to him and teleport over to the next area? Or something or other? Like, what's going on there? Because this seems like a pretty small little area here, you know? And is there really not any smart motion controls? Like, what is this with motion controls? How do I do it? Because this does nothing like it, like in Pikmin 3. I'm very confused right now. What, have I hit like a certain level or something like that? Uh, also, I go by Harmonia, but I don't know what two words are referring to. Huh? I need to stop spitting out seeds. Can't be at capacity already. Based on the life signs from inside the onion, there are clearly more Pikmin in there. Any Pikmin have evolved to self-limit how many can be out at the surface at a time to prevent unnecessary loss. Maybe there's a cap for each type. Something like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, it's a game that we uh, played on this channel. We've done the entire Pikmin series, including that one and even covering Pikmin Bloom. Like, and this is going to be going into that playlist uh, coming up here will be the case. So Pikmin is one of the few series that I've done on this channel where I straight up have covered the entire series, you know, the case. Tis one of those. Yeah, so I guess 20 out here. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, it actually did in some areas. I was quite pleasantly surprised. I'll set over here. This is Beagle can take off whenever you're ready. Uh, I'm ready to explore, I guess. Jerry, would you like to explore? So I do I have to select it on the map then? I have to actually select Sun Speckled Terrace. Looks like it might be a missing rescue officer here. We need to get out there and find them. All right. So, yeah, it's kind of like uh, Pikmin 1 and 2 going to different areas. I think that was the case in uh, Pikmin 3 as well. Where you would land on different places on the surface. But I guess we don't go uh, into orbit between... Uh, we don't go into orbit between days in this game, it seems like. You know, we just go there from this hub. And that's probably why there was no day limit. You know. Most likely. Well, the Sun Speckled Terrace. I'm at 0% progress, but we're about to change that. Let's get a whole bunch of sparklium. Look at this! Pokemon look like this. Glad that Pikmin looks like this. I just wish that more of my favorite games on the Switch did too. Alright. Oh, and the crystals light up when we land. That's cool. Alright, our first area. Let's actually play the game now. Come in. Come in. This is Colin. Looks like you made it there in one piece. Hang on. I'll have the captain explain how today's rescue operation will work. Ah, oh, there it is. See the clock in the top left corner of your screen? It's set up so that the hand will reach the rightmost edge at the area's local sunset time. Search for our missing rescue officers during the day. Then hustle back to the rescue command post before dark. So I think it's only this day that's allowed. Either get 1500 sparkulium or the day runs out. Right. Copy that. I'm counting on you. Oh, you probably noticed that the Onion accompanied the SS Beagle. According to the Voyage Log, the Onion also serves as a form of transportation for the Pikmin. We've got a lot to do and can take all the help we can get. I think you can put those Pikmin to good use. I thought the dog was listening in too. But yeah, and uh, I mean, I'm fairly certain it wasn't 10 years of development time. Like, production time, I guess, if you count, like, you know, pre-production of them planning things out. Considering it's steep. Like, this game was announced shortly after Pikmin 3. Fairly certain they said, yeah, we're working on it. You know. Okay, so uh at least uh at least pre-production. So it was at least, you know, planned out for at least ten years there. Um hold on. Well, let's do that. I'll grab those here shortly. Will that still one shot? Yes it will. But yeah. Yeah, I guess there's no of hope for this tutorial, though. Baseball over there. Um, I can do that and then I'll just make it in two trips. What is going to show me? That's a pretty rock, isn't it? It seemed like treasure. That might be useful. Check Captain Almar's voyage log. 
that spark them raw materials. One could mistake this raw material for a simple stone, but it's more in common with amber and other fossilized biological matter. When heated, it melts into a brown clay and becomes malleable. You should be able to find many applications for it. Oh? I'm a fair hand with machines, but I don't know much about material science. If we had our scientist back, I bet he'd be able to make good use of this. Collect it for now. He'll be excited to have something to work with after we find him. Okay. Look at that, and then I can still grab a couple things with, you know, Poochie here. I don't remember your name, honestly. It, wait, it was something with O. It was like, oh, I don't know. Um, come in, Harmonia. Forgot an important detail. That is, you're going to need Ochi's help. Yeah. Then <laughs> it comes to... I mixed up Poochie and Oats. Um, I comes to searching for the rescue officers. <coughs> oh, man. Yeah, it would have been fitting for the other games there, huh? Yeah. He has a sharp sense of smell, so he'll be able to locate the rescue officers by tracking their sense. Oh, so Ochi's a he, and the one that's with Almar is a she. Use wide open actions, then use L to select the search command. Begin with, command Ochi to pick up a scent. You never know where his nose may lead you. Rubbish shake. Yeah, have to get 1500 sparkling and then end the day have to do both. Yeah, that's that my goal here at least. Rescue operations are a race against time, so put your Dandori skills to work to find our rescue officers quickly. Okay, look a little confused. Have you ever heard the term Dandori before, Harmonia? Explain, have you never heard it? Dendori is the art of organizing your tasks strategically and working with maximum efficiency to execute your plans quickly. Its practice has fallen by the wayside in recent years, but it's still a core tenant of the Rescue Corps, so take it to heart. Okay, so like I don't have to worry about the day ending and then it's like, well, sucks to suck. Raising the art of, Dand of Dandori is essential to our work, and I'll need it out there while searching for our rescue officers. To get things start, open Y actions and command Ochi to sniff out for missing comrades. Okay. Um, yeah, castaways, I guess, then? Follow the scent, Ochi. Well, somewhere past there. Let me just one-shot you. And then... Here, let's do that. That? No, that's not, like, a cherry up there. Yeah, sure. I was thinking about taking that one Pikmin off and putting them on the wall, but that's probably not all that worth it. And hey, then it can move a little bit faster then. Oh, someone's still uh, trying to do this, huh? Hold on. I wish I could extend my whistle out that way. If only I had like motion controls and could extend it out farther. Did they actually take that away from Pikmin 3? So I'd be so upset. Oh yeah, haul that guy back. Haul this guy back here. And then... What are the copites again? Isn't that just like species name there? It keeps telling me new here. here. Let's just do that. Give that a go. I'm probably gonna need more of a squad to get that baseball bat over there. Man, look at this. Brand new Pikmin game. Amazing. All right. That's four. Yeah, it's definitely not going to be enough there, I don't think. You take motion controls away that work for you. You think they're only active when you're whistling or locking on. Oh. Oh. Whoops. Huh. Interesting. But by default, it's like this. But if I whistle, then I can move it forward like that. Huh. Oh, there's a cave here. There is, in fact, a cave. Look, there's a cave here, too. There is crawling with creatures. Our rescue officers could have retreated into the cave to get away from them. Well, we should probably take a look inside. Huh. Let me look around here a little bit first. Nectar? Maybe? Oh, heck yeah. Glug, glug! Oh, yeah, there's gotta be a little cutscene for everything here. Did you see that? It bloomed a flower, like Pikmin bloom. What's going on here? Hmm. Substance is called nectar. The Pikmin consume it. It stimulates their growth, apparently. The voyage log says that the more they grow, the faster they move. Uh, yep. They really are mysterious creatures. They still seem to be- are, Wait, are they still moving full speed with me with, like, the leaf version? Hold on. Not quite. But not super insanely slow. Okay, yeah, I getcha. I getcha. Is there enough for everyone there? Hold on. Let me grab everyone. 
Nope, I have it. Just give me a second here. Yeah, you just give me a second. Bear with me here. So how far can I reach my thing? Not super insanely far, but um... Uh, wait, I can't get that baseball anyway. There's that ledge that I need to hop up and I can't right now anyway. And Ochi's movement speed is a little bit low as well, I see. I do see there. Alright, well, I'll flower my 20 here. Must be just enough for all of them, then. Glug, glug! Drink it up! There we go. Imagine if there was, like, one. It wasn't enough for one at the very end. Um, I'll deal with that stuff later. Maybe I'll do the cave first. Yeah! Venturing kind of far here. Um, yeah, I just want to have a look-see over here. No, I'm not lost. Ooh. Can you get in there too? Yep. I swear if this is bomb rocks. Oh. I'll deal with that later. I should probably check out the cave. But I should probably do. Shepard refers to the Pikmin as mysterious life forms at first. Can't help but think that's a reference to the Plasm Wraith who's labeled as a mysterious life form during the Almar chase in the formidable oak. Think it's not just a coincidence there? Okay. Nah, I probably can't lock onto that. Oh, hi. Oh. Oh. Yeah, you can take damage from that, though. She's tails burning. With a fire, it would be right away. Yeah. Maybe there will be a charge button that I get later, but it doesn't seem like I have it right now. Okay, well. I calm him down with a whistle. Yeah, how about you just get calmed down from being on fire? I need yellow Pikmin, don't I? Can't just cheese this over. Dang. Well, come on. Darn you. Alright, well. Guess I'll trek into the cave. Is what I'll do. But yeah. Oh, might well be. At first I was thinking like maybe it's just like a cap of 20 per type. But maybe that's one of the upgrades that you work for then. There might be a voyage log entry related to these coordinates. Yep, here it is. Last Frost Cavern. I entered a cave to look for the SS Dolphin parts and found a creature that defies the logic of space. It further surprised me by expelling frigid cold air. Imagine if they were Pikmin that had been acclimated to that cold air. This planet's ecosystem is full of mysteries. And variety. You know, look at this. Captain Olimar certainly is thorough, isn't he? According to the log, anytime you enter a cave, you should take Pikmin with you. The SS Beagle can bring the Pikmin, so you can enter the cave without stopping by the base first. Pikmin that remain on the surface can't just be left out here, so let's return them to the onion for the time being. Alright. Yeah. And then... Yep. That's as good as I can do. Down we go! Into the cave! Away! Alright. You know, I'm just now realizing I, I just got an email of, like, the uh, notes that were taken during the Fragapalooza meeting. I forgot last Wednesday of the month was the meeting and I actually had to bring up stuff about the uh, Smash tournament that I'm hosting. Oops! Um, good boy OG, he's picked up a castaway scent. I'm here playing Pikmin 4 rather than attending a meeting that I really should have attended. Um, oops. <laughs> it looks like our priorities are here. That must be one of our missing rescue officers. Time to get them back to safety. But I mean, it's Pikmin 4. It only comes around once in a decade. You know? This type of thing here. So, I don't know. That? Oh, and these can get hauled back. Yeah, just like Pikmin 2. So, yeah, and they're just turned into sparkling, just like little minuscule bits of treasure funds in Pikmin 2. Is this? That's not treasure. Huh? Treasure or not, it does appear to contain some sparkleum. Might as well keep collecting those defeated creatures. Maybe enough to help, even if only a little. This really is Pikmin 2, too, isn't it? My goodness. Imagine if I could cheese that. How amazing that would have been. Alright, well. Let's see here. Alright. And we can do that. And then, what's this? It's the kind that I suck up? Wait, what? Our Ochi sucks up? Something? 
don't know what this is then. Oh, well, there's a new Pikmin variety there and new treasure collected. Come here, friends. Come on over here. Good. We need all the energy we can get. All right, I guess I'm not doing anything with that right now. Yeah. Look at this. Are those wild Pikmin? So can I just like do that and then bonk a whole bunch? Ooh. Ooh, some of them lost their flowers there. Went back to buds. All right. Ice Pikmin. And they're in the style of rock Pikmin. Make sense? Oh. Ice Pikmin 2? New varieties with this game. Let's see. The voyage log says Ice Pikmin. I always thought of Pikmin as plant like creatures, so I never dreamed I'd come across an ice bear. I mean, there's a rock one too. Ice Pikmin can use their icy bodies to freeze water and creatures. They also float like ice in the water. Don't spray them with water, though. They really don't like it. Hold on. Your bodies are made of ice? I knew that something froze. It could move around like that. That's incredible. All right. Well. Huh? It seems like a lot of Pikmin. Is your squad bigger than normal? So if you get ones in the cave, you can go past your normal capacity. Oh, I see. When you're underground, you can have a larger squad because the wild Pikmin you find will join you. So is that going to be a super common thing there? Alright, then they'll do that. Hold on, the ice Pikmin. They can't do anything with this, can they? Oh, they can. Nectar for them! Okay, I was just checking to make sure that the, uh... Oh, at first I thought some of them had white flowers. We're just gonna mix up with the red ones. What to say is yellow the max and white is just before that. Something like that. Okay, well, bonk. Okay. That, and then do this. Yeah, bonk. Kill them real good. Then, that's not gonna come to life, is it? Okay. Making sure, knowing how Pikmin gets sometimes, you know. Do I need the ice Pikmin there? Looks like there's one of the, uh, the dudos. One of the people that I should save. All right. Just do that. What the heck is that? Tube of something. Would be nice if I had the uh, rush band. So, yeah, I guess I do that. And then there's lots of short scenes here. Just like that, frozen solid. Oh, you can break it if you hit it now. The order to the Pikmin Orochi. Wait, do I get the rush command? Oh, no, it's not. I just. Hold on. Hold on a hot second. Do that so I can do this over here. Hydro Jelly Burst. Can I get them all? Sweet. Hey! All right. Aw, he can't do anything. He's sad. Huh? He's beating their head against this problem any longer. That looks kind of like an onion. Yeah, so... I guess this is an important thing that you're supposed to get before you leave. Does it look like it's sputtering? It's very pale for an onion. What do you think? Should we take it with us? No. Probably not. I could have sworn I sent five, but I thought I had ten. Oh, one more just safe then. Well. You can do that and then sure. Break it for funsies. So with my five new ones here. I should probably bring them by this nectar over here. Get them flowered up. Or all your Pikmin are? I sure do. I've played enough Pikmin to know that. What, you think this is my first day playing Pikmin? This ain't my first rodeo here. Sure is not. Go take it. So, what have we here? Huh? This onion is different somehow? Let's take it back to the server so we can compare it with the other onion. Okay. Alright. My squad's together here, so now we're at 30. And I may as well 
I started holding X earlier, but I guess OG needs to be like right next to you for that. Oh, more of that, it doesn't matter. Oh, that's for the few ones that lost their flowers and stuff. All right. Well, hi. Found a castaway. Right hand check their vitals. Pulse, blood pressure, temperature, all within normal parameters. It's like their life support system did its job. We should transport them back to the SS Beagle and verify their ID badge. So, can't. <laughs> what happens if I try to leave here right now? Uh, Pikmin currently outside your squad will come with you. But I feel like that guy probably won't. You know. So I guess there will be a bunch of shallow caves as well around in this game. I'm sure that there will be like some long dungeons like in Pikmin 2 later on. Probably. Probably. I'll just wait for you to get back there first. There we go. Give me the value. Oh, you did it. Let's take a look and see what the ID badge tells us. Okay, this is the scientist, right? Mexican Corps Officer Russ, home planet Gaia, an inventor, material engineer, and lover of all things science. You can develop all kinds of useful gadgets with the right raw materials. Oh, thank the stars he's all right. This is Russ, the scientist in charge of repairs and upgrades of our, for our space suits and SS Shepard. His technical knowledge will be beyond helpful during this rescue mission. Oh, found the scientist. Wow. I'm already over halfway through the game. Uh, found Russ the Rescue Corps' talented scientist. Keep searching for the rest of the rescue officers. Alright. I guess we'll return to surface now. Yeah. So it's air in this game rather than water. Very Pikmin 2-esque. There we go. Yeah, this definitely brings me back some memories of, uh, like, so much Pikmin 2. Look at that. Sweet. Bow 1. Investigation complete. I've 100%ed this cave. I never need to come back. Some level details. Yeah, I can't wait for the caves that will just go on and on and on. Make you question how long does it go on, you know? <laughs> The pinned mission objective will be displayed on the screen. You can tie up the screen by unpinning the mission. Well, our first proper gameplay cave complete. 